Mark, uh, the Panther show. And it's not Bootsy Fern. It's not Bootsy Fern, but it's official. I'm a member of Team Dog. What do you think of this? It's fantastic. So, raise our friends. Welcome back to the Panther show. Tonight, we're joined with the one, the only, Mr. Colin Bell, our colleague to his friends in Newry. So, first of all, a big shout out to all, all, my, all my Twitter followers and a big shout out to everybody on Facebook. Razor, and thanks for all the likes and for sharing the Banta shows on Facebook. So, Collie Bell, welcome into the into the studio, Collie. How are you? Dead on, Tony. Thanks, and thanks for asking me. Um, Pleased to be here. Well, it's it's a it's a pleasure to have you in, Collie. You know, um, just for for the benefit of our viewers. Now, Collie is in. You'd be the, the in charge of the yeah the Kevin, Kevin Bell, Bell Re Repatriation Trust. That's right. Yeah. Just for the benefit of our viewers. Now, there's viewers in America and everywhere. You know, could you tell yeah. us? All about, and I know it's a painful subject, but just for the viewers, well, you know. I say a lot of the, the whole in Uri would know this anyway. Yeah. Two years ago, uh, my son Kevin, he was twenty six. He was out in out in New York. He'd been out there ten months. He came home one night after a night, right, it was early Sunday morning. Got out of a taxi, and he got hit by a white van, and then another car uh, drove over him, and both vehicles drove on and he was killed instantly so whenever that happened the this town Newry town just went pure mad it was like a turning point in Newry's history or something Collie uh, because it was never done before was it no no I, well, I've never heard of it I don't think it was done anywhere before it, but this the, the place went pure mad with with fundraising and, and, and doing things to help the fa my family like well, not only that. Now you're, yeah. you're you're a popular Newry man. Uh, your, your son Kevin was too. Your other son is yeah. is pop. You're a popular family, really. And uh, uh, my God, yeah. you're very well known, especially GEA circles uh, yeah. and, and and all circles, really. You know, you're yeah. you're very popular. Ah well, but as but I say, I never expected the 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 reaction what, to Kevin's death, and what happened was the. Place there was, there was a, a, a quiz in the canal court, raised forty two thousand pound as you know, and the fun run on the Thursday night there was something like eighteen twenty thousand pound, and people were doing bag packs. There was photograph sessions. There was big breakfast. There was any any, any way of, of 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 doing fundraising. Everybody was at it, and we got a massive massive load of money to bring Kevin home. Now. Kevin was with the Armagh GA Club in New York and they arranged for him to come home and his employers out there paid for it so it cost us nothing to bring him home and we had <coughs> something like £150,000 raised to bring our Kevin home like which is just phenomenal like as I said like it, it never happened before you're saying it, it, it never happened before and I don't think it would ever happen again anywhere it's only the people in Uri it was so you know? high profile at the time yeah there were so many people come out even to escort the body down down to the wake house. That's, there were yeah. so many people turned up for the funeral. Yeah. But it, it shows you how popular and how hard touching Collie yeah. it is. Now, you're still grieving, obviously. You know, it's, uh -huh. it's a long and it's a painful process, but I think each day gets a little bit, you know. Well, say we, we're not the first family to, to have tragedy visited on them and, and we're not going to be the last. And I even remember saying at the time like when people were saying like well like there's enough money raised and people were saying we'll stop and i says no we'll work away because kevin wasn't going to be the last one killed abroad or so so, so with all all the money that that was raised at the yeah. time it was put into your trust that's right uh, called the, the kevin bell repatriation yeah. trust yeah we decided to set up a trust to mm. help other families who were visited with the same tragedy who's maybe a son or a daughter or some family member had was killed out, out in Australia or wherever, and since Kevin's death now, it's just over two years ago we've we've passed the eighty mark on bringing people home. Like so, you've brought eighty deceased relatives and family and friends home. Yeah, back home to Ireland, but it's yeah. it's it's an absolute godsend to them people. Mm -hmm. You know what you what you're doing. Yeah. Um, I I lost my own brother in England a few years ago, and I know what it's like. Yeah. And that was only in London, and you're bringing people from all over the world. That's right. You know, that's, I, mean, that's some... I mean, there's hardly a corner of the world that we haven't brought somebody. I mean, you're talking in Indonesia, 
uh, well, New Zealand, both both islands in New Zealand, Australia, America, Thailand, Mumbai. Any you you imagine it'd be probably taking them home. And it's not home to no. Newry, it's home to no. Ireland. Oh, I anyway. The whole now. the whole of the country, 30, isn't it? Thirty two counties. North and south. It just North covers south. everybody and oh. it doesn't do not religion or colour or ah, creed doesn't so. matter. No, we bring any tragedy doesn't discriminate. So we don't discriminate and I say uh, 32, 32 counties, Protestant Catholic doesn't matter we'll, we'll take them home and it's not just to take them we'll pay like because we have the money and, and fundraising is still going on and it's shocking even about this town still fundraising going on well even but, the, the fundraising still is going on uh, and the, you, in case any of the viewers can hear music there's actually <coughs> a band and they're making a 30th reunion and the proceeds are going to the Kevin yeah, Bell Repatriation Trust so it. it's still going Collie you know no, it's, still, it's, it's a fantastic time I couldn't say enough about this town there you go but I'll have to say now it's not just like paying for it because I mean that's probably a big part too but but if family if family gets a phone call say like who do they turn to or, like who who will we ring like what do we do now and but if they ring us, we'll take all that pressure off them. Because we'll you know, Collie, you were in the deep end uh, with, with your good son, Kevin. Yeah. And, uh, it probably, it is, it's probably a, a bit of a healing process for you to be able to do, to help other people like this. How it is. Well, and, it, and be so quick about it, you know. Uh, well, that's it. The thing about it is, we said, like, that's, uh, you know, uh, Kevin hasn't died in vain uh, as such. Like, you know, it, 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 this is his legacy. It's some know? legacy, I can uh, tell you. Well, thank God, and, and the word's out now because uh, if anybody dies anywhere in the world now, the Irish, all the Irish embassies know to, con- to tell the family to contact us. Then we can take, take it over then, you know? So. Yeah. And another initiative you come up with is the Kevin Bell Repatriation Trust T-shirt. That initially started out, you know, it was just, as I said, to get the word out. You know, like... It, it takes a while for people to hear about you, but I mean, as I say, in every county now that, that we've helped somebody, like the word spread. But uh, we, we decided to we'd, we'd get a t shirt or a, a, a Neil's jersey, and oh, the almighty, we thought we'd, you know, get it out <laughs> for. But we're putting orders for 100 or 200 in every week now, and they're going all over the world, and it's like a competition to see where the next. Kevin Bell Repatriation Trust jersey's going to be photographed from. It's here it, from yeah. Croke Park, to uh, Auckland, New Zealand. Uh, exactly. It's yeah. everywhere. Uh, everywhere. Even sure, the, yeah. uh, the, uh, the Grand Canyon. That's right. It's yeah, everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. Brilliant. And I think that's fantastic because yeah. it not only it, it it's good for the people in Newry because they feel good about what they're doing. You know. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, and and anybody that that does uh, donate to. Yeah. charities especially you know yeah. and uh, myself I like to help any charity along sure, you know yeah. and come in yeah. the band or come on the band show and tell us about it yeah. but y- you're you're really stuck at this you know? just, oh, it's full of, oh, lucky enough well, well lucky enough but I, I was coming to the end of my teaching career anyway so I retired there last June and it, it's like a full time job now like yeah. I could be I'll, I'll be Doing something every day. You're probably busier yeah. now than the than you ever were, were you? Doing more work anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Razor. <laughs> Just a wee quick shout out to Pat Hanna. Razor <coughs> Pat, and thanks for tuning into the show. And Bootsy Fern and the boys, Davy Gary, Razor lads are brilliant. They're, they're even doing bits oh, for the yeah. Kevin Bale Trust too. So Razor, look at that there. I've got my, my team dog, you know. <laughs> I'm I'm a bracelet. Keep her lit. Keep, Keep her fit. Yeah. So I'm going to take that off now, Bucci. He's cutting the blood supply <laughs> off to my hand. <laughs> the hand will drop <laughs> off on the floor. So things are, are busy at the moment and yeah. they will be continuing. Well, that's it. Well, you know yourself, like there's that many young people away. You know, I mean, I, I have even, there's, I have still R. Eamons in, in Perth in Australia and R. Maeve's in Perth in Australia. You know. Raise your Eamon and Maeve. Big shout out to you, sir, in Australia. Indeed, all the all the Irish and all the Newry ones out in Australia as well. Half of Newry's in, all over the place, like you know, and, and half of every town in, in Ireland, and accidents do happen, and yeah, you know. So, 
as long as people know that we are here to help anyway. You know? Well, that's 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 fantastic, uh, Collie. Um, so it's, you're going from strength to strength, really, and ah, yeah, expanding yeah. it just a, a bit. That's it. Well, as I say, we're we're getting massive support. You know, right right through the county now, and or right through the country, and 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 uh, it's as I say, it's family run. Nobody gets a penny for doing it, and we are happy to do it in Kevin's name. That's, that's brilliant. That's a lovely thing, and uh, you know, I want to wish your your entire family, you know, um, a speedy recovery because it's still it uh, still hurts, you know. I know it's like, and it still hurts. Surely. But the positivity coming off you, Collie, and your family, you're uh-huh. very very positive people, and you know, nothing really puts you down too much, like. No, well, you know, as say, we're not the first family to get hit. Yeah. We're not the last family to get hit. And, yeah. And you have, you still have to get up in the morning, like. Oh, you do, yeah, yeah. And it's better to get up in the morning and uh, keep carrying on, absolutely, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. You know, oh, don't lay down. Or no, you, no. When on. you lay down, you're bait, aren't you? Keep going. Keep going. Give it the razor, keep her lit, and keep going. That's the only way to do it, really, isn't it? It is indeed. Yeah. So if anybody else out there wants to donate, how can they get in contact with you? Well, if just look up the Kevin Bell Repatriation Trust.com. Our website and it gives you all information. Yeah, and you're on uh, different social media sites as well, oh, aren't you? Yeah, we've got Twitter, and Facebook, Facebook. Yeah, yeah. The usuals. The usuals. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's great. Um, so, friends, it's a very worthy. I'm telling you now, it's a very worthy charity. Like all charities are. This is very special, because as you say, when 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 the bad news comes to your door and you don't know what to do, if yeah. if your loved one is far away. That's right. It is. You know that. The, the bad news alone knocks you for six, so you don't know what they're doing. And uh, get in contact with this man, Collie Bell, the Kevin Bell Repatriation Trust. It's on Facebook, it's on Twitter, it's it's, it's on the internet. So um, yeah. if you want to donate, any of my friends looking to donate, there's a there's a very worthy, very worthy charity. Um, so on that note, friends, we're just going to say thanks to all our Twitter followers and our Facebook followers in the Banter Show. Kevin, do you want to? Is there anybody you want to say thanks or hello to? Or oh, I just want to thank you. As I say, the, this was born out in Uri, and every time I, funny enough, I'd be on the radio now and all oh, down on the television, I make sure that people know that this was Uri born and bred. And it's out of the goodness of the people in Uri, and I just can't thank the people in Uri enough. Fair play to you. And in two years, you've taken 80. Yeah. 80 like, Loved one's home. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That, that's an incredible number, isn't it? Yeah. So you've it's had to do 80 families, really. Yeah. You know, and it's still going. Still going, yeah. It's still going because. Still going strong. Unfortunately, that's life as we know it, isn't it? Exactly. You know. Well, Collie, I have to say it's been very, very interesting. Mm. And um, thanks for coming into the studio. Thanks, Tony. I'm it's an absolute. I really appreciate you asking me, and I'm glad you came in. Thanks very much. It's a pleasure, Collie. Pleasure. And uh, as I say, a big shout out to everybody at the Erie Week Festival, Mickey's Day, all the festivals coming up. It's because they all like to have too, and you they know. They all did. And they all Eerie did. Wig and Mickey's Day, we got the money from Mickey's Day and the Erie Week. I mean, it just goes on and on. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. Will you do me a favour? I will. Will you go to God and give them a razor? Razor. Razor. So there you go, for me and Collie, yeah. friends. That'll do. Check out, check out the Kevin Bell Repatriation Trust, please. And throw a few quid in, because we're all doing it. Now, right, Collie? That on, don't I? Collie, thanks again. Thank You're a gentleman. You, thanks a lot. Raise our friends. Me and Collie, we're out of here. And I'm in the st- in a different studio now, we're in rehearsing, and this is the one, the only, the band called Dreams. <laughs> and I get, oh, there's, there's Sean Keenan having a good laugh already. Yes, they're all here. We've got we've got the main, main man himself, well, we've got Shaley Hart, we've got Brent O'Hagan, we've got John Cosgrove and saxophone, Tommy Matthews, the man behind the drum kit. We've got Sean Keenan, that's a beautiful bass there, Sean. Oh, and the Fender bass. <laughs> And we've got we've got uh, John McManus too, and he's on a beautiful Fender Strat, of course. So lads, raise our, big raiser for the band Dreams. They're they're having a thirtieth reunion gig. Thirty fifth. 
35th years. <laughs> Razor, 35 years. 35th year. 35 that's years. That's since I played with him. Oh, it's just since you played with him. Right. Yeah. And how's the fingers coming along? Uh, few blisters. few blisters. Well, sir, they'll be bleeding by the end of the gig, won't yeah. they? So where, where, where's the gig happening, lads? The gig's happening in Bourbon Street. Bourbon For, Street. Formerly, formerly the Relic, but now Bourbon Street, excellent live venue. Razor, Razor for Martin Cues and all the crew yes. round at the Bourbon Street and Barry McMahon, Razor Barry, the head man round there. So, so the gig's on two weeks. And it's it, on 30th of August, Tony. The 30th, 30th of August. Sunday. Bank, bank holiday weekend. weekend. Oh, bank holiday weekend. Come out, Better. listen to the band, <laughs> listen to the dreams and you'll not be disappointed because they're all really top class musicians in their own, in their own rights. And um, it's actually for charity. The gig's a charity gig, isn't it? It is indeed, Tony. The gig's uh, two very worthwhile charities. Uh, first one being Pips. Pips. And secondly... Big razor to everybody in Pips. Razor to Pips. And the second one, the Kevin Bell Repatriation Fund. There you go, the Kevin Bell Repatriation Fund. And we had Kevin's father on the Banta show not too long ago, earlier on this evening. So Collie, Collie Bell... This is the band dreams that will be playing and the money's going to the Kevin Bell Trust. So there you go. It's all the good people in Newry. The big charity event. And lads, thanks for putting it all on. So is there any chance you're going to do a song for us? Nah. No. Nah. <laughs> Brent no Higgins says, nah, nah. No. Nah. It's our bedtime now. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, you should have been in bed half an hour ago, for God's sakes. He's but, an athlete. <laughs> <laughs> he's going home to take his milkshakes and all that. And then a good night's sleep. Well, tell you what, lads. Fair play, it's great to see you back, one and all. I know every one of you is a bunch of rascals, a bigger bunch of rascals. Never was in the one building with a bigger bunch. But anyway, I tell you what, lads, Razor for the Bond Dreams, they're going to play a song, aren't you? Yeah, that's right, that's right. So this is for Pips and the Cat and Bell, Repatriation Trust. Razor, friends, I'm out of here.